Meantime, the director and deputy director at the Lucas County Board of Elections have at least another month to settle their differences after a motion to fire them failed this morning without enough votes. But now a board member's position may be in jeopardy. No idea what this is, do you? Let's, let's get back. You don't live in this county. You have no idea what this report is, do you? Now, today's meeting was filled with squabbles like the one you just heard, but it started off with BOE's director, Megan Gallagher, presenting a report that she says defends the board against critiques that were made by consultants in a report that was filed last month. But as Gallagher got into the report, board member Tony DeGiglio wanted her to disclose how much taxpayer time she spent putting that report together. Board member John Seabrook came to her defense and throughout the meeting asserted that DeGidio didn't even live in Lucas County and accusations he says could cost him. Oh, I could possibly lose my job on the board because I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to vote the way he wants me to vote. DeGidio is referencing John Stainbrook, but the allegations between the two former allies struck now a, a court, and a hearing has been set up for March the 27th to validate DeGidio's residency. DeGidio also revealed that he was not able to vote on today's motion to fire Gallagher and the board's deputy director because he says that Gallagher filed a complaint against him with the Toledo Bar Association on a separate matter.